So today I'm going to be playing around with the contents of this white packaging. So this is the film, it's 800T Cine Still Tungsten Balance film, so it should be kind of interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and load this into this Holger camera. I've got a Holger there, and there's a fountain there, and I'm going to see what I can make of this. These don't look bad for a Holger, and the Tungsten Balance film has taken to daylight well. It's worth mentioning that these, like all the photos in this video, are pretty much straight out of the scanner. I haven't tried to clean them up in any way. So I've come to one of my favourite places to shoot Sydney Still particularly, which is Chinatown. The reason I like shooting Sydney Still around here is because of these colours. The reds are just fantastic. And Sydney Still really likes reds. Uh, I've never shot with a whole guy in Sydney Still before, of course, because this is actually a new 120 film but uh, I'm hoping I'll get something interesting from the Reds. Though I came here yesterday and it was horribly busy. It's just about quiet enough now that I might actually be able to pull this off. So uh, let's see what happens. They're a bit soft, yes, but what do you expect from a plastic lens camera? Shadow detail can be a bit grainy, but considering this is said to be an ISO 800 film, there's less than you might expect. Well, that's the scene still in the Holger roll finished. Uh, I'm going to wander around a bit more, wait for it to get dark, and then uh, I'll be able to uh, try out shooting with the Mamiya later on and it should be interesting to see how it behaves. Um, I think I'm going to wait until around sort of dusk time for that though uh, because there's quite a lot of light here and with my mirror I can just shoot it wide open and get some tiny depth of field. The lighting is really quite varied here and the film is holding up really well. Don't mind the blue lines on some of these, that's just because my camera tends to scratch the film up a bit sometimes. Medium format's fun. I do really enjoy shooting with the mummy here, even if it is buggy as hell. Oh, get I've just been and shot more uh, C-Still 120. Uh, I've got a couple of exposures left on that roll and I'm going to take them down to South Bank later uh, for some sort of night stuff and maybe there might even be some sort of like stalls by the river or something that might be lit up. So this could be kind of interesting. So I've gone to South Bank looking for some sort of interesting things and behind me is uh, some really cool lights. So I'm going to try and get a shot sort of across those lights. Grainy though it is, the dynamic range in this image is actually really quite spectacular. Also note the halation around the point light sources. That's something Cine Still is really quite known for. Some people like it, some people hate it. So I hear there's quite a famous London landmark around here, but I can't quite figure out where it is. Oh, it appears to be right behind me. So I've just finished shooting the roll of Cine Still 800 120. Uh, I think I'm going to swap another roll out now and take some more night shots because the two I've done so far I've been quite pleased with sort of framing and the timings and how it all worked. So I'm going to load up more. really pleased with how this film has handled everything I've thrown at it, and especially how it's dealt with these often challenging night shots. It was well worth the wait after backing it on Kickstarter over a year ago, and I look forward to shooting with it again soon.